a lot of what I enjoy about making art is having a chance to do difficult things and solve problems. It's really rewarding to face a challenge and then have to create clever ways of overcoming that challenge. Hi, my name is Eve Ewing and I'm here at the Boston Children's Museum as part of Current, which is the Boston Children's Museum's Artist in Residency program. Right now I'm working on an installation called a Map Home, which is a site-specific installation. So the installation is um, definitely designed so that you can enjoy it at any age. It's not children's art, it's art for anybody, um, but it's designed with children as the primary audience where adults have to kind of accommodate what kids need instead of vice versa. There are a lot of children here that have never yet been in the school, right? And this is the first educational space that they'll ever encounter, which is this huge, incredible responsibility. As far as I see it, the job of an artist is to communicate with an audience about your experiences or your feelings or your ideas. So that's what I'm trying to do with this piece, is give people information about the emotions and experiences and daily life in some of the places where I've lived and, and been at home. And so themes of place and belonging is something that we can all kind of relate to in different ways. So it's me kind of inviting young people and whoever the viewers are to visit the places that I consider home. So my question is how do I make something that's a piece of art that's going to draw in a three-year-old or a five-year-old as a viewer to compete with all these other fun and cool things that they could be doing. I wanted to make something so colorful and so full of stuff that it was impossible to walk by. The piece includes a lot of color and a lot of symbols and I had to work in sections because I was working in a small studio space. So I was on the ground uh, with no shoes and no socks on, um, crawling around and actually painting. I'm doing it all really fast and so I have this challenge of, of um, making something that really fills the space because I did want this kind of experience where as a young person you would walk by and go like, wow, what is that? I want to come in, I want to see it, I want to check it out. Artistic practice has a lot to teach young people in terms of what it means to try and make mistakes and try something again, um, to not be afraid of failure, to experiment, to problem solve. Those are all parts of the artistic process that um, can teach us really important skills that we also learn in life. So that's why I'm especially excited to be here at the Boston Children's Museum because I get to engage an audience of young people with visual art in a way that is thoughtful and um, provides some space for exploration for me as an artist as well as for an audience. to play by the rules of the young people that are visiting here. I'm not expecting them to play by my rules. So I hope that young people will look at it and tell me a story about what they think the piece is about. And I also hope that they'll touch it and that they'll interact with it and look at it on their own level. Um, I hope that they will have a lot of questions about what the images mean and what the text means. And I hope that the adults that are with them will inspire them and encourage them to come up with their own answers. that museums really can create that space where we're encouraging people, especially young people, to be the expert. So I want young people to feel free to walk into this installation and kind of perceive for themselves what it's about and, and how it relates to their own lives.